Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we are going to be building ourselves a stone generator. I hope you guys are ready. Alright guys, so today we have plenty of mana. I have been sitting here AFKing, trying to get this thing going as best as possible. I even made some more endo flames. Also, I went ahead and added this thing, the floating exo flame. So that way I don't I no longer have to run uh, charcoal or anything in this bottom furnace. Now it just runs also faster because it's running off of a little bit of mana. Yeah, as you can see, this is keeping up very well. I do have this now set on a two second timer or two tick timer, and uh, it seems to be keeping up with all six of the endo flames running uh, each six, each uh, section of six is running into each mana, mana spreader. And then I also uh, set up a mana splitter, which basically you have it go to the splitter and it fills up the uh, mana pools that are around it. This thing is going very well. And I did notice some people were saying that they weren't getting the bottom bo blocks to break. Um, I think that has a lot to do with uh, you, either you didn't place this high enough or you may want to place a mana spreader uh, above it and link these to that mana spreader and then place, or not mana spreader, uh, a mana pool and then link this to uh, mana spreader to that one so uh it's a you know a little bit of trial and error i think some places may have different issues i don't know uh i've seen a little bit of inconsistency with linking uh these blocks uh link, linking the mana spreaders to certain blocks so that may be the issue but you can kind of finagle it a little bit by placing in mana pools and and stuff like that and kind of getting that uh, going but today we're gonna get a cobblestone generator slash stone generator i think that would be our best bet um, so we're gonna try and get this going here. Um, I am gonna need a few things. I'm gonna need a mana spreader. I, I think, yeah, it doesn't have to be any particular, uh, just needs to be a mana spreader. So let's go ahead and look here. Um, we're gonna need a flower. Let's go ahead and grab a flower. Some living wood. We're gonna make a ton, we've, we've made so many mana spreaders now uh, that we should have this pretty much memorized at this point. And sorry if I sound a little bit out of it. I did get a little bit of a, uh, I don't know if you call it a summer hay fever or summer uh, sickness. I have no idea what it what it would be, but uh, something got a hold of me and uh, it is not liking me, that is for sure. So let's go ahead and get that done. There we go, there's our mana spreader. Now we are gonna need a lens. You see I have the lens section pulled up and that's because there's a special lens that gives weight to blocks. And uh, it requires this prismarine, and prismarine is pretty easy to get a hold of, and then the uh, water rune. Uh, prismarine is easy because if we flip this, we can get prismarine with quartz. Let's go into our section here. And I'm pretty sure we have some quartz, there it is. And we'll get seven of those. Something like that. The little scroll thing doesn't work very well sometimes. But there we go, we have some Prismarine Shard. And I know we have a Water Rune. So let's go ahead and get our Water water Rune. And uh, we can work on making this lens. We're also going, going to need uh, a bit of glass for iron. And there we go, we should be able to turn the iron into some Mana Steel. And let's go ahead and craft this. There we go. So now we have a weighted lens. Now this is going to make blocks drop, which is similar to sand. Uh, it's gonna work just like sand. As you can see, we have tons of wood from this tree farm with me AFKing there. Let's go ahead and get a half slab because we're gonna want blocks to fall into a half slab or technically I guess we can have it fall into a torch as well. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then we're gonna need a floating flower and we're gonna get a hopper hawk. Or we could use a hopper. I think a hopper might honestly, let me think. If, it blo if the block falls onto a hopper, doesn't it just break it? The only way to find out is to make, to make one. So let's go ahead and make a, I'm going to try a regular hopper first because that might actually work better than a hopper hawk. So let me go ahead and find, find out. We have the stuff to do this, so 
I'm not too concerned there. I think the best way for us to find out is to literally drop a piece of sand onto a hopper. From a height. Okay, so it lands on it. Let me try this, though. If I place this on top, does the hopper pick it up? It does. So this is probably going to be our best bet right here, is having a hopper with a slab on top of it. I think that'll work perfect. We're also going to need a mana pool of some sort, because this is going to run off of some mana. Um, let's see. We have a rock over here. So we'll go ahead and we'll make a regular mana pool. Eventually we'll get mana transferring all over the place, but for right now this is what we gotta deal with. So, let's go ahead and get this thing kind of set up. Let me get a chest real quick. And we're gonna get this just to generate some stone for us so we don't have to worry about it from this point on. Let's place a chest down. We'll do the little trick with the, uh, the hopper, I think, depending on if I place my hopper somewhere. I guess I did. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to place my hopper in a weird place. All right, so let's do that. Place that on top of there. And then we're going to need to get a stone generator above this. And a stone generator is not too hard to make. Let's go ahead and get this up here. So what we can have is we'll have a flowing water source right here with a lava source above it. So flowing water source will go here. I'm trying to picture this. So flowing water, which will start here. Let's kind of get an area for the water to sit. And we may have to move this thing later on. I don't know. All depends on how things go. So our water is going to go right there. And then on top of that, I'm going to place lava. So I'll have a lava source right here. And that'll flow down and land on top of the water. So we'll see how that goes. That might work, might not. I think it should. So we'll have the lava here. Make sure that I have this set up right. And then we'll block this off because that's where the lava technically will flow. Same with this. All right, let's, let's go ahead and get, we have water. Our water's right here. So here's where our water's gonna go. Let me make sure that back is closed up. I almost, almost misplaced. There we go. Perfect. And there's our water. That should flow. Okay, it flew, it flew to the side. That's what I didn't want it to do. <laughs> There we go. All right, so that is normal. And I, what I may do is right here is where the uh, stone is going to generate, I do believe. And now that I look at it, if the stone generates here, that's not right. I need it to Generate in this direction. Okay, so yeah, I don't think this is going to work going right here. I need the lava to connect with it right here. So that means we're gonna have a little path here. Okay. I think I I think I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> I don't know. I may not, I may be wrong, maybe completely wrong this whole time. Okay, so if I put flowing lava here, it will land here. We're gonna find out. If it makes stone, we've done it right. If not, well, 
have to break it all down <laughs> and do it all over again. Will this make stone? Okay, this makes cobblestone. And I think if it goes above it... If it goes above, it generates... Let me think for a moment. Let's try this one higher. Will this work? I bet this will generate cobblestone as well. Oh no, that just flows out, doesn't it? Okay. So, what needs to happen here... ...is... Okay, so I think... Wait, let me read. Let me think my my design here. Okay, so I know I have something. Let me just fill this in. I think I need to place lava right there. Okay, I heard something happen. I noticed this pick is so much slower on breaking this chiseled cobblestone than it is anything else. It takes forever to break this stuff. All right, we're about to find out. Did that make stone? Okay, it did make stone. Okay, and I am noticing it, it. This needs to be moved back one, which is fine. All right, let's move this back. Place a chest here with a hopper that just disappears on us. Now, I just broke the hopper. Where else could the hopper have gone? <laughs> it just disappeared. Okay. So I have magic hoppers that like to, uh, like to disappear, so let's go ahead and make another one. Unfortunately. There we go. And we'll sneak or click over here if I can. And then we can throw that slab down now. There we go. Okay, now we need a mana spreader to be able to break that block. All right, so that shouldn't be too difficult. And we may need a, I don't know, we may need the pulse mana spreader? I think a pulse might, mana spreader might actually be better, and then we can set a timer on it. So. Pulse mana spreader, yeah, it's just a regular mana spreader with a piece of, yeah, hey, yeah, you can't click on chests with this thing either. And let's get a... Uh, what is it? Hourglass? Which a couple of glass. Make sure I have everything for it. There we go. Couple of mana glass. And then a bunch of gold. Two redstone. There we go. Alright, so that's not too difficult. And then we are going to need a little bit of sand, but we have... Some cobblestone for that, I think. On us. This won't work unless it's chiseled back. We'll set it to a six second timer. All right, when we have our mana pool, um, I'm gonna set the mana pool 
I guess right here would be fine. And then above the mana pool, we'll go our pulse mana spreader. And then we're going to need a... Let's see, I'll do another mana pool just to get it linked. To give the, the mana spreader something to link to. Alright, it looks like it's on this height. This is a good way to uh, get mana spreaders to do what you want them to do. Put this in bind mode, shift right click there. And then I shift it onto the mana pool. And it should be pointing in the right direction. There with the mana pool again uh, as well. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. Okay. So let's head back up here. Because we're going to give this a little bit of mana for one thing. And we'll do that with our ring. It may be better if we just if we place this mana pool. Can this not break mana pools? I am getting so confused. Okay, let's go ahead and do <laughs> another mana pool. I think that this completely breaks mana pools. Well, that's not a good, good tool then. I have mana, so it should be working. Yeah, it's just breaking. Oh, place down torches and saplings. Till soil and create grass paths. Don't want that. <laughs> I don't know why it's breaking blocks and not giving me anything from them. Oh, it's because I don't have any mana. No, it says my pickaxe can't break this. What is going on? Yeah, there's something weird going on here. Oh well, let's go ahead and place this mana pool down. <sighs> yeah. Something's wrong with this pick. It, it says no for this, but... It says yes for everything else. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have a normal pick. I'm just going to make a normal pick. Uh, this is, I'm not going to deal with that. Okay. Anyways. So I'm not wasting even more material. I should be able to break this with this pick, but not this one apparently. I don't know why this one's broken. Unless it is broken. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, let's go ahead and get our mana in here. And we can go ahead and throw in some of this. Now this should automatically be set to sparing mana from our tablet. To give it a little bit of mana. Perfect, I'm gonna let that sit there for a second. You can see it's already got a pretty good amount of mana in here. Pick up our wand, there we go, perfect. Now, let's set a timer over here. Don't want that happening. <laughs> I don't want her stuff being caught on fire. There we go. Let's go ahead and break this one. And here's where I can put the pulse. Okay, so I'll put the pulse right here. And give it a timer of six. And then we also need to put the lens of weight on this thing. Oh. And then we also want to close this off so we don't get water spreading everywhere. And that should be generating stone. And it looks like we can increase this timer. Let's try half. Yeah, maybe even two. Two. 
two seems perfectly fine. Guys, and we now have a stone generator. That wasn't too difficult, now was it? Not at all. Awesome. Let's go ahead and make it look fancy. We have it all fancied up. I'm wondering how much of this do we actually need. Because this is technically the top. We can probably break the rest of this. And there we go, guys. That is a stone generator. That didn't take too, too awfully long. <laughs> We're going to work on some more, uh, you know, generators over time. Things that will actually help us. Now, this does require mana, so we will have to make sure this thing does continue to get filled with mana. I don't... It doesn't use too much mana, it looks like. But uh, it does still use mana, so you will have to make sure that this stays full. Um, but, I mean, we're, we're going to generate stone. Quite a bit of it. There's 40-something stone already there. It's used hardly any, any mana. So, guys... I'm going to try and figure out this pick. I don't know why it doesn't work on this stuff. On Chiseled. And why it's breaking my mana pools. And it, it would break my Runic Altar. Something's not right with this thing. So... I'll, get, I'll see what that's uh, doing. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. Let's go.